We is live. We is live this afternoon with a can reaction. Waiting for my people to get here so we can get this thing a rocking and a rolling. And then I got more content to film. So much more. So, so much more. Man, I got a lot of things to do today. Goodness gracious. All right, let's see here. Let's go up to the live stream. I need to go back to my silent mouse because this mouse here is loud as I don't know what. Let me see here. Clickety click click. Loud mouse. What's going on? Good afternoon, people. We here. That's right, baby. We live this afternoon. We is live this afternoon. Shantae, Natasha, I see you up in here. Candice, yum, yum. Bubba Gum, I see you. Giovanna, what's poppin'? Sabrina, Raquel, Mary, Hunted Expeditions, we here. Good afternoon. Mafia in the building. That's right, baby. Mafia calling. I'm doing a call right now. I'm trying to call them all up in here. I'm trying to call them all up in here. Yes, yes. Yum, yum, bubblegum ass. How am I feeling? I'm feeling pretty good right now. Earlier was a different story, but right now I feel pretty good. Pretty darn good. Good enough, well enough to do this live stream with you all. Let's see here. What y'all talking about? Man, someone just sent me this article. So I might do I might do a follow-up live stream after. I see somebody talking about it in the chat. Did I hear about the story of the alien encounter in Peru? Somebody literally just sent it to me five minutes ago. Uh, supposedly there was like a fight or something between some some tribal people or something like that and some aliens. I didn't I didn't go all the way into it, but it looked interesting. It looked very interesting. I'm like, oh man, hold on, these people are proclaiming. This alien tried to take or, or something with a, I think they tried to take a 15 year old girl and they tried to fight it off. Like, wow, that's crazy. I don't know. It's hard to, to know if you can like trust when the people are like out in the wilderness and you know, they're kind of away from everyone and everything else. It's like, had they gotten any word, any news um, from, you know, from U.S. in regards to the existence of aliens? So they fabricated this story or maybe, just maybe, they don't have any outlets, no news outlets, no way of contacting the the modern world. So they they actually experienced an Asian, uh, an Asian, an alien attack. Where did I get that from? Good afternoon. Young, appreciate the five dollar donation. First super chat of the afternoon. But y'all, we're about to get this thing rocking and rolling. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way in and let's go. What up, AOK Mafia? It's your boy Art of Kicks, and just like that, we back with another one. Y'all, we got a Karen reaction, live reaction. Shout out to Public Freakouts for this video. It will be linked down in the description box below. At the end of the live stream, it's about 27 minutes, 19 seconds to be exact. But we're going to make it a little bit longer. We're going to be here for a while. The title of this video is 27 minutes of Karen's messing with the wrong people. But we're going to make it 45 minutes. Y'all boys and girls ready? I'm ready. <sighs> Still have some Karen t-shirts and tank tops available on the website. Artofkicks.com. Very limited, very limited sizes available. Grab them if you can, if you can find your size. Let's go. From hair raising tantrums to epic manager showdowns, we're counting down the moments that sent shockwaves through the internet and crowned the reigning queens of audacity. This Karen goes nuts and starts assaulting some innocent kids, but their mom steps in to stop her, but soon realizes Karen is too crazy. <laughs>
bike sounds electric. Get the hell off the sidewalk now. Excuse me. Get off the sidewalk. Please don't touch me. Why'd you just hit me? Want me to hit you again? What the f wrong with you? You don't f touch me. Oh, I'll do what I want. You tried to run Mom! Out of the sidewalk. Mom! Hey, come on out, Mom. Have a little talk with Mom. Bro, she just hit me. Hey, Mom. She just hit me. She just hit me. Uh-huh. She just hit me. You hit oh. my child? Yes, she did. Serious? Yes, she just did. You want to go look at me? I have a you camera. You want to see the video? You run me down on the sidewalk, and I'm, with the, I'm on the board, along with another board member. Would you like he to see that? No, we're well aware. He tried to run us down on the sidewalk. I did not. And, and lied to us. I have well, a video. It's a great thing that there's a camera strapped to his chest. Good. Right get, come on, boy. Just get it on. Let me Get away see from me. Oh, Come on. Yo, if it ain't 100% clear that this Karen is out of her mind, she actually believes her own BS. Sorry, this chair, y'all. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. We got 190 live viewers. Hit that like button so we can get more people in here. We got 75 likes. Come on, get them up for us. I appreciate y'all. This woman here, look at her, look at her. Hold on, y'all. This is a full screen clip. So slick, hide me for a moment. Look at this woman. She is crazy. How, you're going to sit here and lie to this boy's mom talking about, yeah, he tried to run me over on the sidewalk when the video footage clearly depicts otherwise. What do we see here? This boy is riding his bike, and he stops. Get the hell off the sidewalk. And what does she do? What is she doing right now? He was completely stopped. She comes up to him, grabs his handlebar, grabs his forearm, and tries to force him into the grass off the bike. Now. Excuse me. Get off the sidewalk. Please don't touch me. And he says, excuse me, please don't touch me. You think that was enough? No. Watch what she proceeds to do next. Why'd you just hit me? She hit him. You hit you again? What the? And then she threatens to hit the boy again. And she's that confident that the footage is going to show that she's the one that's innocent? Come on, Karen. You, you can't be serious, right? You think this footage is going to be on your side after what just happened here? Karen, shame on you. I'm with you. Yeah. You don't f touch me. Oh, I'll do what I want. You tried to run mom! Out on the sidewalk. Mom! Hey, come on out, mom. Have a little talk with another board member. Would you like he to see that? No, we're well aware. He tried to run us down on the sidewalk. I did not. And, and lied to us. I have well, a video. It's a great thing that there's a camera strapped to his chest. Good. Right get, come on, boy. Just get it on. Get away see. from me. Oh, wow. Come on. Get away come from on. me. Come away. on. Come on. Come on. Come I swear to God, if this old lady touches me again. I can't wait. If this old lady touches me again, I swear to God. Oh, you are crazy. We're here on the police. You need to go get a go get a life. You need to go to your house. Bye bye. Go away. This is crazy. You've been You don't hit children. You don't hit children. It's against the law. It's against the law. He showed me shame numerous on both videos. Of you. And shame on dad that your boy would do She what hit me. Do. She hit me. She in the is back. an absolute. He's got Ready the whole thing on camera. With the board member I have it on camera. I didn't want. No. Yelling at me. I can be on the sidewalk. Yeah. I can do anything I want. She you touched my child and then called the cops. Oh, oh, get she already did. She, she hit me. Well, want to see the video? Yeah. All right, here, let me. This crazy guy totally. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to come back to you. I'm trying to come back. The audacity. Karen. Karen. I wish you would. Hold on, hold on. Let me make sure I got this center correctly. Boy. Woo. I ain't never wish Karen would so bad right now. All right, let's check out this next clip.
Safety guy totally lost his mind when the Karen worker in the drive-thru won't give him a refund. No, listen. No, you right, just give me my money back. back. Just give me my money back. 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 Give me if you're refusing service of them, then give them their money back. You're asking for drinks back? What are you going to do with those drinks, Karen? Pour them down the drain? Why are you being petty? You're not servicing these people, so get them their they own money. I'm going to ask for the drinks that y'all are not going to do nothing with, but throw them away. Give us our money at me. Where's our money? Yes, where's our money at? Give us our cash. In the wrong. I have the cops on You're the in the wrong. The no, no. I'm not going to do that to it, okay? No. I'm not playing with this bitch. I put the camera up. Come on now. I don't want to look at your shoes the whole time. I want to see the action. Inga, new channel member in the building. And new channel member. And thank you for the donation. They locked the door so he couldn't come in. Cause she not trying to give us our money back, bro. How you gonna refuse somebody's service and not return them their money? That makes no kind of sense. Take shake. Mm -hmm. Angel says she will probably give those drinks to the next customer. They're not supposed to do that. Wrong Type service black people get. Give us our money back, cuz. Do not get out of my drive. Give us our money. No, get out of my drive. Give us our money back. Hey. Yes. Are, are you a manager? I'm not going get nowhere. Go. All right, all right. No, 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 no. We, we know that money right now. That's okay. it. That's it's, all you guys do is give us something on the That's all you got. You got to move. All right, there you go. Wait, what happened right there? They did something and sped off. It's all you gotta do is give us something to the That's all you gotta do. You got to move. All right, there you go. So my self. This lady catches Mr. Karen. Yo, that was crazy. Karen in the act, chowing down on her food in his car instead of delivering it to him. My man's called him Mr. Karen. Busted. You didn't do a goddamn thing. I just called you. I just screen recorded the whole thing too because I was going to make a complaint. So instead of you bringing me my food or answering the phone, you decided just to keep it and eat it. Give me my food. I never can understand what possesses a uber eats doordash whatever service that delivers food i can i don't understand why they would want to eat somebody else's food i wouldn't even want to do that 
I don't care if I how how wrong I felt that customer did by me. Rather, it wasn't a tip or what whatever the situation may be. Man, America, dog. I don't I don't like it here 99.999% of the time, man. The entitlement of people. I saw a video yesterday of this woman that she shows up to these people's house. It was a teenage girl that answered the door. She had ordered some Uber Eats. And she was looking at the paperwork. She was like, wait, hold on. She was like, I, I don't see a tip on here. And the girl was like, that's because I didn't give you a tip. And she throws the food down and goes back to her car. The entitlement. You're not entitled to a tip. You, you're not even supposed to give anybody a tip after, until after the job is done. America, man. The one that's open, too. I want my drink. I want all that. I did try to feed you. No, you didn't. I, did. I, I, I screen recorded the whole thing, sir. I have it, me calling you, me texting you. I screenshot it and screen recorded the whole thing. So instead of you coming to bring my food, and I gave you clear directions. I wrote it in English. I wrote it in Spanish. I'm sorry. Maybe I should have wrote it in German, too. I wrote it in clear directions. And instead of you responding to any of that, because even if you had an issue, I said I would just meet you in the front. You didn't have to look for me. I said I would meet you right here in the front. So if you wanted food, you was just there. Why didn't you just order your own food? You was just there. Why didn't you just order your own food? If that's all it was and you just wanted the food. Hey, hey, hey what she's saying sounds so reasonable and logical. Man, you were just there at the restaurant. Why you didn't order some food? You wanted some food. Don't eat mine that I ordered for me. That you're supposed to be bringing me. What kind of sense does that make? I'm trying to find you. I know you don't think I was, but I was more So why didn't you respond to any of the messages? No, I was, I was overwhelmed by messages. Fire him. Fire him. This man, ooh. He said... I was trying to find you. I, I really was. I was looking all around, all over the place for you. I couldn't find you. And the girl asked why you didn't respond to any of the messages. I gave you clear directions in two languages, English and Spanish, fool. Clearly, you speak one of them. And his response was, I was overwhelmed by too many messages. Fire him. Fire him. I'm going to need his I'm going to need his paycheck, too. You didn't get that many. I was trying to. If you're lost, why didn't you try to contact me so I can help you find it? Yeah, I was just trying to find the place. How was your trying? He's not making any sense. You know why? Because he doesn't have any sense up here. If you couldn't find the place, why you didn't bring, hop on the phone, call the customer? Hey, can you direct me to where you are? I'm lost. He's capping. He's full of BS. One of my favorite bars from Lil Wayne, he was like, y'all so full of shit, you shut your mouth and let your ass talk. <laughs> God, sorry, I didn't mean to swear, but you know, it was, it's the only way I could really get that across because it was the lyrics in the song. Y'all so full of shit, you shut your mouth and let your ass talk. I'm I mean, just. I, 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 in what I way were you trying? Because I just rode around here. I left my house and I'm like, okay, I'll meet you in the front. I know it's hard to find places over here. I just rode around in circles. I haven't even seen this car, so you were just parked eating my food. That's it. You haven't even made it out the complex, and you're already sitting here eating my food. That's crazy. So when were you trying to find me? You haven't made it out the complex, and you're sitting right here eating my food. It's not even like you made it anywhere yet. We're still in the complex. What? What's the point of this? Cause you pissed me off. Hey, you pissed me off. I'm you just sorry. wasted my time and you pissed me off. And I'm gonna send this to Uber Eats and whoever else. This Karen is all upset because she can't drive like a maniac due to some kids playing on the driveway. How? See, people don't understand the privileges that they have. The fact that you don't have to go to an employer. If you have a vehicle, you can. Uber Eats, DoorDash, Uber, Lyft, whatever. You can hop on these applications 
and sign up so that you can be a driver for them and make some money, some decent money at that. If you put in the work, time, and effort, the privilege, and you want to screw it up by doing wrong by people, you lose your opportunity if you won't. Dare they interrupt her need for speed, right? <laughs> We have a problem with you. We have a problem when I can't drive home from work every goddamn day because your kids are in the road. They're not in the road. They're trying. They're trying. They're on their feet. They're on their feet. They're on their feet. No, they're not. You're out of your mind. They're on this side of the street just to slow you down. Good. Take a picture. From the police department here, so we can. I can't stand this, Karen. I remember this clip. This woman. You don't need, she don't, for one, she don't live in this neighborhood. Why is she so concerned about what these kids are out here doing, riding their bikes on the street that they live on? She don't even live on this street. She doesn't even have to go down this road. Give you a ticket. Call the police. We have. You literally just said you're going to go 45 on our street tomorrow. Did your kids never play on bikes in the street? I never put cones out in the road and try to redirect traffic like I own the place. Never did. And run out in traffic trying to play people down like half up or what? Stop going down our street. Stop going 45, 50 miles an hour. You don't live here. And leave them calls out and see what happens. You don't live here. Oh my God. <laughs> this Karen worker in the store is racially profiling a black lady and tailing her like she's solving a mystery. But I wish a Karen would. When the lady confronts her, Karen goes all out and tries to throw hands. She's standing here watching us. She didn't stand and watch them, but she just standing here going to ask me, did I scan my wiring stones? Walmart, this is what your employees do. Yeah, get away. Stupid. You know, stand over my back. Don't tell me it's 20 items. The sign say, if you get, if you, you, you touch it up, tell me. Back the up. Are you fucking? Oh, she just hit me. Are you about to get fired? I got that on camera. I need your manager here right now. Go get him. Go get him. Because you just swung on me and I should beat the fuck you. I can do whatever. It's a free country. I can film you. Get the fuck from me. I can film you if I want to. You say, no, I'm not back. I wish she wouldn't hit me again. I'm going to knock her ass out. Hit me again. Yeah, you hit my phone. You swung on me. You should kept your hands to yourself, bitch. Yeah. I got it all on camera, so tell your manager come over here. Yeah, I got it all. Y'all, I got the link to the Karen t-shirts. I wish Karen would at the top of the chat. <laughs> oh, Karen. She just swung on me. This Karen takes crazy to a whole new level by using her... I was just about to say, the first Karen I ever reacted to was an Asian lady on this channel. And here go another Asian Karen. How about that? Karen! Door is a barricade to block this guy's car in the middle of the street. Get this pimp. Get this motherfucking pimp. Oh, your door fell. <laughs> Duh. Son of a bitch. You want? Your door fell. Get out of here. Get, get, you... out, of, get out of my street. Get out of here. Clean the police. This motherfucker is a pimp. Oh, shit. Come here, there. Let's start hauling. <laughs> oh, my man's is stupid. She she called him a pimp. He said, "Come here, then. Let's start hauling." Ah, this dude is funny. Don't put that by my car. You gonna get your ass kicked. Hey, what? man, you better get what that on. You better get that on my car. I wish a Karen would put something on my car. Ooh. You better get that away from my car. I'm a pimp you. <laughs> Yo, this man is stupid. She said, you pimp. He said, I'm a pimp you. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. I got to hear that again. Hey, Man, you better get that on. You better get that my car. You better get that away from my car. I'm a pimp you. I'm a pimp your ass. I've never seen this clip before. I am not wearing your parka, huh? You. 
Shut up. Get out of here, Parker Hawk. Get back. Hey. Son of a bitch. Vehicular homicide, son of a bitch. Get out of here. You better move that gun. Vehicular homicide. Hey, she knows some words, some English words. I like it. Damn. Hey, you better get that goddamn door away from my car. Mr. Karen has taken it upon himself to be the alpha in the plane, threatening the staff like he's some kind of a gangster. You won't believe what happened on my flight to L.A. That's a weird flex. I don't even want to go to Cali. Oh. Oh, no one cares whether you did or didn't want to go to Cali, my guy. I didn't even want to go to Cali. The fuck you talking to? I will find your name, name, the bird, and address. I will know your social security number before I get off this plane. On my daughter. On that same baby that you see me on the, on the phone with. What? What? So what the fuck? Yo, yo, cuss. What the fuck? What the fuck? What's the plane? What they gonna do for you before I came? What's the law gonna do? Yo, mind your business. Mind your business. Because I will break your neck. Yo, I'm, let me just explain something. Hold on. Let me explain something to him. There's no need. There's no need. There's no need. There's no need, huh? You told me one thing. I told you I'm gonna leave it alone. I'll leave it alone. You leave it alone. Talking to you. There's no need. Uh, yo, respect. Respect. Bro, this shit is like two hours late, man. I'm trying to leave, bro. This shit is two hours late. And I'm sitting here waiting two hours later. Fuck you. This crazy Karen hit peak. That man think he's so hard. He bleed like everybody else do. Stupid. Madness in the traffic and actually tried to break this poor guy's car window. Please. What the? You good? Oh my Stop. God. I wish a Karen would. Hmm. Still her window Can broken. Her, her passenger window is shattered. Can we just stop? <laughs> Middle finger gang. What the I don't. You ugly inside and out, Karen. Oh, she's going off on other people now. She's got to be on something. She on that crazy. That's what she on. Dang, how long she gonna keep the middle fingers up? That don't do nothing for nobody. Don't nobody care that you wave your middle finger at them. Nobody on this planet cares about getting a middle finger pointed at them or waved at them. Nobody. Nobody ever has. Nobody ever will. Mm -hmm. That's why your windshield. That's why your. That's why your window broken. This Karen worker totally denies service to this guy, saying he can't buy more because of some product limit. Tell me what you gonna tell me okay. while I'm buying these from- Hey, my man is about to flip these. He's about to sell these for a profit. My church, tell me what you telling me again. Wanna... Oh, no, he bought them for his church. You wanna buy them all or no? I'm buying them. I already gave a bunch away to your customer, so you just said that I couldn't buy them. I'm asking you why. Yeah, Can you state it for my camera? No, there's nothing. There's no. There's nothing nowhere that says any of that. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm letting you know right now. We, you know. What's your name? We talk time. Okay, I gave away more than fifty of these that I was going to buy to customers in your staff. So I don't understand why you stopped me because someone staff sent you. Definitely couldn't be picking anything. Uh, yes. Mm. More than a couple. So I mean, so no, I more than a, right I know. There. So can you can you yeah. allow my thing to work and get away from me? Cause I don't know why you, I come here all the time. I spend way too much money here. And you think I would l limit if I was running a store? I would limit a customer to buying. Oh, you can only buy five. No, buy them all if you want. Shit. Can you re? Uh, can you um turn this back on for me, sir? Can you turn this back on for me, sir? No, why, sir? There is Akiko said I may almost made her spit her drink out. I've, I've already scanned all of these. You told me to stop scanning them. I already gave away a bunch. I'm trying to understand why you guys are pressing me. Because you walked up, sir, and you didn't even know what that guy was talking about. So I'm assuming someone sent you because he told me something completely different than what you said when you first walked up here. What up, Desiree? I see you. I see you here the whole time. So can, can I just scan this out? What's the problem? I think I played it for you already once. One more time. No, hold on. Please let him dig his own hole because no, I don't understand these people. I, I well, I'm, been, I'm finna leave with this stuff, with all of it. Oh, I don't care. 
you know what? I would just leave and not buy any of it. Y'all just dug yourself a deep hole. All the money you was about to make off me, you is now making none. I will never come back to this Walmart again. Blame him. They won't let me pay for none of it. My checks only have 50. Don't worry. Okay. Wait, no, no we're not doing none of that. We're not doing done. none of that. Hey, look. It's a hundred. Taz says, every time I wear the I Wish You Care Wood shirt, people say they love it. That's right. I'm telling you, there hasn't been a single time where I have stepped out the door with that shirt and somebody didn't stop me and want to talk. Dollars on the floor. I'm taking everything from right here. That's more than enough. It's, it'd be it'd be just one to say, hey, I love the shirt. You know what I'm saying? Or where can I get the shirt? It's a hundred. It's a hundred dollars on the floor. You can get it at the link in the top of the chat. Artykicks.com. It's a hundred dollars. You walked up and said, do I need assistance? And then you said, I can't have none of it. My man's big flex, and he's like, he got hundred dollars on the floor. Let me buy this stuff, y'all playing? I bet I do. I'll show you where I'm from. I don't know what's wrong with you people up here in Michigan. This makes it's no $100 sense. It's on the floor to pay for. It. This makes no sense. Did this happen in other countries? Where somebody gonna limit you to how many products you can buy? It it makes sense in some cases, where it's a limit to how much you can buy. But, like, you have to state that limit. If it's not somewhere where it's, it's, it's clear that he can't buy this many, then let him buy it. Y'all check him out. Excuse me, sir. Can you let me know why Excuse me, sir. Are you about to do this? Why is it? It's $100 right there on the floor. So I don't understand what you're talking about. Excuse me, sir. Exactly, Sabrina. I can see a limit on toilet paper and paper towels and certain things, but... On, on these little blankets? Come on now. The hell? I shop here every day. I spend thousands of dollars here. What's the issue? Yeah, yeah Jenny, I know what you mean. Freaking international shipping is it's, it's, it's customs. They they try to take everybody's money. Your, your, your cash, your people who took the stuff from me when I was buying, they can ring the rest of it up. You know how many was on the order? So how many did you bring up? I don't know. I bring up a well, bunch. Can I bring up the rest Only of thing I did ring is that part, and it's at $51. Can you bring up the rest of them? So Whoa, here? hey, brother. So, hey, excuse brother. me. It excuse me, Alvin. Yeah, these all been, all been rung up. I left $100 right there no, on, no, the you can't on the floor. Leave it on the floor. It has to be rung up on you the turn the register off. How can I pay and you turn the register off? We're not touching anybody. How can I pay and you turn my register off? It's not care. about that. It's about principle. So, uh, I don't know why y'all stressing me. Watch out, bro. I put my money right there. Finish. You can finish that up and donate it. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. All of these have been rung up. Everything. The money is right there on the floor. You turn my register off. Can you instruct him to turn my register back on so I can pay? I'm just trying to figure out. You don't have to pay for anything. This Karen worker gives the guy. They ought to be ashamed of themselves for treating this man like this. They ought to be ashamed of themselves. As many celebrities that have walked up into a Walmart and gave every person in the store a shopping spree, like, get whatever y'all want on me. They ought to be ashamed of themselves. This man came to do business, came to help y'all make y'all quota for the day. Y'all want to treat him like this? I wish a Karen would. A refund for the terrible sandwich, and then she goes ahead and bans him from the restaurant. So you said I'm not allowed in your yeah, store yeah, because yeah, yeah. I don't like this sandwich. Yeah. The bread was not good. No, 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 no. we don't refund. We, we because don't... you ordered. You ordered, you said this bread, this and everything. We you made. guys have bad yeah, customers. You have bad yeah, customers. Yeah, customer tell me what's the problem? What's no, the no, problem? When it's it's true. What's the problem? It's true. I don't like no, it. No, no, you don't like it. It's your problem, not our problem. You got... What? If the man telling you is something wrong with the way the food is, if it's something wrong with the food, then that is a y'all problem. He said, she's like, no, it's, it's, it's your problem, not our problem. No, it's y'all problem. You can't be serving bad food to customers. What kind of mess is y'all on? 
guys have bad not, service. Not, no, you no, have not, very bad. I'm gonna report you to Subway. No, no. Just know that, okay? Hey, y'all do me a favor. We got almost 400 people in here. Let's see if we can get 400 likes by the end of this live stream. We don't care. I'm gonna we report you to Subway. Go, go. This is this is a disaster. Did you say, why you come here? We invite you? Because why I you I thought you're why right. You I should have never came here. You're right. You're right. I Thank you, Heather. I feel like it looks a mess, but I appreciate it. Should have never came here. Go ahead. I should have never came here. Okay. Right. I will report you to Subway. I don't care. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay. All right. I'm just let you know. You made me feel. You, you made me feel. Whatever you do, I don't care. Okay. Whatever you do, I don't care anything. You don't care? Okay. You take the money. You take it. You are taking it. It's not. It's not good. The service and the food is not good. You have no right. She said, "You have no right." Mandy, I'm with you on that. I worked at Target too, and I had a few Karen bosses. It's not good. I have a right to complain, but I have a right to complain. I have a right to I have a right to file a complaint. Okay, I'm, I am gonna report you. I'm not lying. The food is was just it was not done. It was not done. You, you call me a okay this racist karen work I, I don't understand why they couldn't sample the food themselves them ripping the bread and ripping the food ripping the sandwich apart it's not going to tell you that the food is good you have to put it up to your mouth and taste it he said it didn't taste good at the drive through was being all rude and disrespectful to this lady. Well, the crazy lady couldn't take it anymore and totally snapped, smashing the window. Shut up. Come out that window. Come out. She calls you black, man. Come out the window. Come out the window. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out the window. Come out. Come out. Watch. Take your ass somewhere else with your beat up piece of car. Get the f out of here. Yo, how she sounds so young, but looks so old. She got this old like haircut, old style haircut. I don't know. She's. I feel like that haircut is too mature for her age. She sounds like a teenager. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why you got. Hey. Dang. Dang. Crazy. Mr. Karen seriously needs anger management classes. He's the drive through deep. Yo, my girl had a bat in the back of her trunk. This is right here. If this is the clip that I think it is, we've seen this how many times? Let me see it in the chat. Eva, who can't, you know the number, handle a simple order hiccup. He starts screaming at workers and smashes the windows with his bare hands. Give me my card. <clears throat> Jeremy Johnson. I, you, I ain't the one. Bring your punk ass out here. I, you, you think I'm worried about you? You don't know who I am. Give me my card, dude. Fuck. Fuck. Give me my card, punk. No, I'm not. I come. I drove back now. Trying coming back again. Make sure I hit that like button for your boy. We're trying to get. Nah, let's do, let's do 300 likes by the end of the live stream. We got six more minutes. Get someone else, dude. Then give me my card. You the GM? You ain't gonna give me my card. You're welcome, Tom. I gave you a name, you lying. You didn't ask me for an ID. That's right, baby. We done seen this clip 50 lem times. 50 lem. Mother. Give me Ooh. my fucking car. Now. Karen didn't take it well and went bonkers when a lady called her out for abusing her kid in the store. 
I'm recording you, lady, because this is definitely oh, abuse. You know what? You're abusive. Get out of my face. Do not come now. near me. Let's go. Oh, I want to call the police right now. I really don't care what you do, honestly. I don't care what you do. Great. You're Wonderful. Right. You're not right. You're not right either, so You're bye. Right. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. What does she do to her her son? He's holding his arm as if she hurt him. Stop it. People are calling the cops because you're acting like a moron. Can no, because you you're acting wrong. You know what? Why don't you? She's so stupid. She said, she looks at her son and says, stop. People are going to call the cops because you're acting like a moron. Is that really what she believes? No, woman, you're the one acting like a moron by being unnecessarily physical with your child in public. That's why they're recording you. That's why they're calling the cops. Stupid. She could, oh, I, I feel bad for that boy, man. She probably gaslights him every day. You mind your own yes. Yes. You slammed him against the wall and I told him, him and told him you're gonna. She slammed him. Punch him in front of all these people here. What? Now I've been whooped, but I ain't never been threatened by my parents, and they told me that they were going to punch me. I wish Karen would. I wish a Karen would. This racist Karen was swearing at her new neighbor for ruining her sleep during the wee hours by moving in. You're moving because it's illegal at this hour. Please record your moving furniture. Record your man. This woman said it's illegal to move in in the middle of the night. I ain't never heard that one. I thought you could move in whenever whenever you get done moving in. Woman, it's, it, it's, go, it's one day. It's one day. Let your little night's rest be disturbed this one day take your butt back in the house karen ain't nobody about to stop doing nothing because you come outside you all you about to do is inconvenience them for a few minutes and then they're gonna go right back to doing what minding their business moving into this home oh i wish you karen would record your man moving furniture hang on i'm gonna get my camera to record you and your robe good go ahead what time? Evelyn? You just moved in. Right you just moved in. Right you just yeah, you're the one you that had the police. Oh, right I'm going to find out where you work and you're going to lose your job for saying that. I get paid by the government. Yeah, you can't say that word. Really? <laughs> Dude. You're a oh honey. Oh my God. Do you think because you're not brown you're on What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, waking me up at four? No, I'm sorry, 3.30? Yeah. Hang on, I got a phone too, babe. I'm using the call the cops. Go ahead, call them. I'm getting in your car. <laughs> She's going to sit here and call these folks the hard ER word. As if that's supposed to hurt their feelings. I don't know if y'all know this, but it don't hurt nobody feelings. It might make them angry, but it doesn't make their feelings hurt. It don't hurt their feelings. They might get upset about it. Like now when I say upset, I mean like angry, but you didn't make them feel bad by calling them that word. It, it doesn't work that way. But the, the fact that you use the word, that's what they're angry about. It doesn't hurt them. It just make it's just angry. I'm for real. Hi, Ed Matt. That's you. You're the one with no teeth. 
This crazy guy couldn't handle the fact that he didn't get a refund for his coffee. So he takes matters into his own hands and snatches some cash from the tip jar. I'm lost by myself. I understand. I used to work by myself too. You're not the only one who used to work at Dunkin' Donuts. So to get this show, you're not gonna remake my coffee, right? The coffee's done here like you're asking me. That's not you how You're asking me like- And even she heard me wrong and she refused no. to make my coffee. No, I, I don't. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. That's correct. I'm going to get my refund right here. Hey, my guy, my guy. <laughs> he went on the head. He was like, I'm about to take all your tip, put it in my bag, see ya, since you don't want to do right. That th th Think about this, y'all. Think about this. You you walk into a, a, a coffee shop, and you ask for a cappuccino mocha, I don't know, with, with some whipped cream, right? I don't know. I don't drink coffee like that. You ask for that, and then they hear you wrong. They forget the whipped cream, and they give you back your dang on coffee with caramel on top instead of whipped cream. And they say, "Okay, this is what you wanted. This is you we we gave you what you asked for." No, you misheard what I said. Can you fix it? No, sir. Here you are. Here's here's your coffee. Okay, I'm gonna be taking your tip. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Give my money back. Oh, no. Give my money back. Then give me my money back. Exactly. You my tip. And, okay. You I did. Body, you my tip? I sure did. Because she won't give me my refund. So I got my uh, refund. He, he, he said, you won't give me my refund? I'm going to take my refund. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Actually, make sure to see if this is all my refund. But she might owe me one with a dollar. You, you didn't even make oh, that much tip. I hope you, I hope you I do. That. And I'm gonna record it. You stole it. my tip. I did. And but she stole see. my money. No, I don't you see steal this? your money. I made your coffee like you asked me. You see this? Me. I didn't make it. Uh -huh. Not at all. Okay. This crazy Karen throws her drink at this lady's car. I like his style. But the party doesn't end there. She takes it up a notch by stalking. Yes, mocha chocolate, yeah, yeah, baby. Her all the way to her apartment and harassing her. Yeah, we almost at 300 likes. Hit that like button for your boy. I have a lawyer. Me too. This woman's. Why she looks so goofy though? She look goofy. She go show. What she said? I have a lawyer. No, what you have is a cell phone. You were texting somebody. I could do that too. Okay. Stop harassing my family. My, you started it. You threatened my son, my autistic son. You threatened to kill him in the swim pool. Instead of me beating your ass, I reported it to the police in the leasing office. I have receipts. You don't have receipts. Receipts of what? A receipts of you incident reports, boo. That's what I have. And now you're harassing my mother. You're still harassing my mother. She walked away from you. She Karen thinks she's above waiting in line like the rest of us mere mortals. Mm -hmm. Oh, heck no. <laughs> oh, my God. This is where I paused it. This Karen thinks she's above waiting in line with the rest of us mere mortals as if she doesn't bleed. I'm not a mortal. I'm not even from this planet, y'all. I'm from... I'm an alien. This is me. This is, this is actually a selfie. Can you see the resemblance? <laughs> I am not from this planet. All these earthlings, they're weird. They do weird stuff with their lives. They say weird things. They act weird. I, I can't. Take me back. Take me back to my planet. Ugh. Look at her. If she, if she don't got... You... Could just look at her and know she was a Karen. That's a shame. Usually they got to open your mouth. But no, you just can look at her. When a lady calls her out, she gets all feisty and tries to throw hands. This Karen don't tried to cut my client in me. line at Target. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I want and the back police up. right here now. And back up. Okay. Okay. And this is all on video. Exactly. Because you thought you were going to get in front of me. Okay. Exactly. Who are you talking to? You. You're not talking to me. <laughs> I am trying to make a return here. Like, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So why do you think you're so entitled? You thought you were going to come and stand in front of me? 
and then I correct you about what you did. You thought you were going to come and get in my face. We're not I'm doing not that today. Face. You did get in my face. I and know. I got it on video. Stop playing Whatever. with me. Stop playing with me. Okay. I was here first. I came the correct way, like all customers should. Just get done. She jumped. I'm not talking to you. She jumped in front of me. And this young lady knows she came from this way. Now Kiko says, hey, by the way, we've seen this clip before. Kiko says, nice care. Nice care. Nice human suit, A-OK. -okay. You had me fooled. <laughs> gotcha. And then she said, well, I have a return. Ma'am, I'm already standing right here. Just get it over with. Right. Wait, you made a big deal about it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Now stop playing with me. For real. I can take over here. Last one, the lady. Really the cat's out the bag. Now y'all see why I'm so obsessed with aliens because I am a... Alien myself. You need my card? You want it back on your debit card? You can get I'm a gray. <laughs> yeah. We're done. You reset that one. The one, yeah, I put the one. You got the right one today. This is like, you got the right one today. Want more Karen encounters? Yes, I do. So we're going to do another video. Yes, baby! Stay right there. Don't go nowhere. we got to do some more Karen. We got to do another Karen video. <laughs> I didn't feel right about ending it on one that we've already seen. Welcome back to it. So we gonna do it again. Big, big, big. What the what? Oh, heck no. We gotta do this one. Karen does blackface. <laughs> this should be interesting. I got some, I got some alien contact content i meant to say to make after this because you know gotta represent my real ones <laughs> my real aliens all right y'all let's do another video because these karens man i swear for god wish they would <clears throat> here it is for a roller coaster ride through the Hall of Shame as we count down the most audacious and infamous Karens the world has ever seen. From hair raising meltdowns to absurd demands, get ready to witness the worst Karens of all time. You won't believe what you're about to see. Racist Karen decides it's a good idea to do a blackface. When the worker in the store calls her out, she acts like it's no big deal. Don't worry. <laughs> You're literally doing blackface yeah. Me later. in the middle yeah. of the store. That's Lester Holt did whiteface. Nobody said She want to be black so bad. Where's your pride section? I need to know. We're past. Oh, I thought they were celebrating this and they took our flag forever. No? I'm starting to think that some people want to be labeled as Karens. And I'm thinking that with her. I feel like she wants to be a Karen. She wanted her two seconds of internet fame. I was wrong. My bad. I don't shop at Target. I just take pictures. Join me. Post it on my Facebook, please. My Facebook friends love it. Was I right or was I right? She said, post it on my Facebook. My Facebook friends love it. She want to be famous for being a Karen. That should be the last thing you should want to be famous for. Ooh, the audacity. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. This racist Karen decided to harass the black worker in the neighborhood, but he schools her big time and diffuses the drama. And all you do is get on your phone and talk <laughs> Oh about my that. God. You don't so work. you do realize that that is my job to block traffic. Right you do realize that's my job. Like uh, on the side of the your truck. Job is to block traffic. Yes, exactly. That is his job to block traffic. We've seen this clip before too. This woman is stupid. You ever seen construction workers working on a um, a telephone line, or a, a, a light a light post, or the road, and there will be a vehicle to block traffic from coming in that direction to protect those civilians. That's his job, to sit in that vehicle and block traffic. And she wants to get upset about that. She is, out, she's been living under a rock. Yeah, so we, we're, we're traffic the control. Okay. That's so what your we job do. Is to block traffic. Yeah, it says it right on the side of the truck. Not to block it. 
Yeah, no, you no. You said you can't block my driveway like you did. It's against the law. You block. Oh no! Actually, once I once see after that, the way after that kind of works is once I declare this a work zone. I can't back out of my driveway. He said no. I said my husband. We can just hold you for fifteen go. minutes. I said my husband just had surgery to get to the hospital. Right. And he said too bad. Well, and no, then and then bad. I sat there and I watched you walk into the house and sit in the house for thirty minutes You're and crazy. then. There's no way I sat in the house thirty minutes. Call the hospital. There's no way I sat. No, I literally house. watched you. So you, you can go time. ahead and say whatever you, you want. Don't know how to talk Your time. racist you comments are already work. on file with our company. I don't care. It's not racist. Nobody cares. Lazy is a racist comment. Nobody cares. Listen to me. You are incorrect. No. Saying you're white and lazy cares. is not a racist comment. Look it up. They Educate. took her. She's stupid, stupid. She is stupid, stupid. Her whole thing is she said, oh, just because I said you're white and lazy, that's not racist? The fact that you put emphasis on his nationality made it racist, stupid lady. Why did you have to say that he was white? Why you couldn't just say that he was lazy? You putting white before lazy made it racist, stupid. I wish a Karen would. I wish they would. Report, and when you said that they hired black people. I never said that. Yeah, That's yeah. a lie. Well, they and took her report, up. so they're they going to believe her you? over you 100%. Well, I'm going to believe the people I talk to over well, you Well, that's great. He said he'd get rid of you. He promised. So me. you believe that, huh? I did believe him. Okay, so you believe those people over back. me. Okay. Yes. My dude is over here trying to fix stupid. It ain't going to work. He said call them back. You. I'm going to call him. Call him back. And we'll call him every day till this is Call him every care. day. Call him every day. It's a clash of entitlement. The Karen worker refuses service to a Karen customer in the drive through. I really don't appreciate the way you're talking to me. No, she was letting you know, like, our headsets are messed I understand up, and that's that. what I'm selling. I understand that, but I couldn't understand her. Right, that's why she said it over and over again. She wasn't being smart. Yes, that's she just was. how she talks. No, she talks she like was this being... all the time. Well, she needs to learn how to talk differently. You gonna tell her how to talk? Yeah, not, you don't, I'm okay, a customer. Not, I'm a customer. Ma'am, you can go to the Taco Bell. I yeah, don't like yes, you Taco Bell. You, you can. can't tell me where to go. So I don't have to serve you. So we'll see how that goes. Thank okay, you. Okay, bye. Karen in the drive-thru is called Simple as that. Simple as that. I know that's right. What? Causing a scene all because the worker put money on the counter and BAM! It's the spark that ignites a drama explosion. What? She said this is trying me. That's what she just said about a customer. Okay, so basically what I was trying to explain to Mrs. Erica was I that Just one moment, ma'am. I'm sorry. Girl, you and your kids! <laughs> Yo, the chick in the car in the back, she's like, hurry up, I got some hungry ass kids. And then this girl goes like, F you and your kids. Okay, how the f you talking about? You don't know me, how I shoot you in your little face. You and your kids. Now that's why I wasn't talking to her like that, because I really get out of my motherfucking character. In her kids. And guess what? When I get my motherfucking order out, then I get out the motherfucking line. You and them kids. Now, like I was saying, I'm so sorry for that. What you just seen? I handled this lady with respect. She put my cash on the counter right here. She set my money on the counter because I took too long to grab it from her. I was not being funny. I put my, I waited because I was trying to make sure my food was fresh. I'm not eating no old ass food. So while I was checking my food, she here, 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 here. You gonna get it? I'm like, damn, can I check my mother order? Right. Which I didn't even say that. And what did I tell you guys? Always check your order before you pull off. Always. Because you will get home. If you if you eat fast food, you will get home with your order and it may be incorrect. And it happens way too often. Check your food before you pull off. Don't let them rush you. You just put money in their pocket. They can wait. Because if they got the order wrong, they're going to have to fix it anyway. They can wait. Because she won't give me time to say shit. She closed the door. Hey, who was that? Who was that? Zakira. Period. <laughs> she come back. I said, can I get some honey mustard? Is you going to get your change? That's not how you talk to people that's paying and using. Hey, I need four more lights to hit 300. Let's go, baby. Spending that mother money. Yes, that's not how you talk to nobody. Then y'all got to beg this to shut up talking. 
when I come back through here, when I come back through here, she better not be working here. <laughs> well, I go back. I'm not going back there. Because that's not how you talk to customers. I did not call her out her name. I did not call her a bitch. And I don't have a camera on your face out of respect. I did not call her a bitch. I did not call her her name. I didn't say nothing to her out of respect. Mm -hmm. And I pulled my camera up because I could not believe she was talking to me like that. Yeah, that was difficult. And then I said, okay. Then she said, well, you listen to me. I said, no, I already asked to speak to your manager. Your ma That too. Or take your change back and don't move. You don't have to move until you check that order. Period. Whether you got your change back or not. Manager is standing right here talking to me. I don't have nothing else to say to you. Mm -hmm. I need a full refund. This crazy guy tries to steal in the store, but the worker swoops in, grabs the stuff, and tosses him out like he's yesterday's trash. My man's like, F this. I'm broke. I'm just going to take it anyway. Are you for real? Are you for real? This man is loading up on, these, on this women's deodorant, ain't he? Are you for real? Are you for real? Yeah, but he's a lightweight. He just got shoved. He felt that power. He was like, whoa. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get past this guy. Drop the bag. Leave it alone. Drop the bag. You like that leg sweep? Oh, like it was nothing. That's a that's a move, y'all. That's a power move. I, I suggest you learn it. It's a good one. I, I learned it myself a few years ago because I don't I don't like to fight. So I'm I'm, I'm trying to take you down, get get it over with real quick. Just just take his legs from under him. Oh, oh, yeah, it's, it's over for you, brother. Are you going to stand up again? You want your legs to come from under you again? Come on now. Good job. You left with nothing, idiot. Maybe maybe you need to go walk to a gym somewhere and get some muscle. What's your name? Weak. That's his name. That's his middle name. This Karen thinks she's the victim when she tried to bully a restaurant worker. But a customer stood up for the worker and showed Karen she can't mess with good people. That's right, baby. Did have you? a great day. Well, see you later. This. Go ahead and send it to corporate. That's absolutely fine. That's your right. But I didn't do anything wrong. Real quick, thank y'all for the 300 likes. 333, baby! And I have witnesses in here who will stand by me. So now I will ask you to leave and I will call the police. I'm Choose your... I'm gonna back you up. Choose your deciding. Because I'm done. And You've I'm, been doing this to me And I'm backing you up right now. now. And I'm waiting for the police to show up. You're giving her a hard time. Because you're in the wrong spot. You can videotape them as well. These are my regulars and they're always here. So have a great night. Call the police. So if you don't leave. Call the pop pop. Within the next minute, the pop pop will be here. Uh, wait, wait. So I'm not walking okay. fast enough? As no. I walk out the door, you're going to You've call the police. You've been giving her a hard time for 20 minutes now. I've watched the whole scenario. Call the police on her. You're hassling her. That's why I'm recording. Good. I'm not you're hassling, hassling her. her. I'm not hassling yes, her. Yes, you are. And that's why I guess I'll put it up on YouTube today. Good. You, you failed putting this on YouTube, lady. <laughs> All you did was make yourself look bad. You think because you recorded this incident after the harassment by you was done that you're in the safe, that you're in the clearing? Because you can sit there and pull up the camera and be like, oh, I didn't harass nobody. No, you had already harassed. He's a witness to your harassment, lady. You put this on YouTube and failed yourself, stupid. Put it up with 8 billion other people. Well, I recorded the whole Good thing. Good for you. Record everything. Uh, unfortunately, you have to because everybody's a liar. Yeah, sure, right. Including you. I watched the whole thing. And I'll testify against you. Testif oh, now we're going to court. And I love how the hippies over here are shaking their head. Yes, really, you feel good about seeing me talking to police and going to... No, but yeah. do you understand the sociolo sociological aspect of this? 
people calling the police because she just ripped me off uh, the coffee a little bit. And it's not the end of the world. And I said it a million times. This woman is so delusional. She don't even know the reason why they're calling the police. They're calling the police because you harassed her. Because you gave her a hard time for an extended period of time for no reason. No, she's the nicest person there is. Oh, well then it must be me. I guess so. Yeah, it is you. I <laughs> Woo! What are these customers saying about this barista? That she is a very nice young lady. Those are her regular customers. And what does the Karen say? Oh, well, then it must be me. And what do they say? Yep, we guess so. Yep. And then the guy, the guy was like, it is you. It's you. Karen has turned the restaurant into a battlefield. She's in full-on tantrum mode, refusing to leave and shouting for someone to call the cops. But then, a lady... Woo! I like how a girl right here stepped up. She was like, oh, yeah, let me... She, she stepped up. Hey, I got to let y'all see this whole thing. Hold on, she stepped up like she a man's, like she about to handle this chick. She's like, excuse me, small person, let me speak to you for a second. Watch this, watch this. Refusing to leave and shouting for someone to call the cops. But then, a lady comes to the rescue defending the workers. This is your emergency. Listen, you working here. You working here making, I don't know what you made here. Listen here, what you want to do? Hey, hey, you better watch out before she curl you like a dumbbell now. Watch out. Hey. Listen, get out of my face. Get out of my face. No, no, no. Help. Listen, call the police. Call, call the police. I do not have my cell phone. Listen, dear. I don't care about you. Okay, so what are you, what are you, listen, see your out of this conversation. You come down. I don't need to come down. You can down. Listen, listen. What are you, listen, dear, take your Hey, 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 look, look at the employees in the back. Look at the employees in the back laughing. They're all like, yo, she's about to handle this little woman, man. This is funny. Look, 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 look. This one right here is cracking up. I don't need to come down. Now, listen. What are you, listen, dearest, take your sit down. Sit your down. You ain't got nothing to do with the night. This little woman ain't gonna hit her. She ain't gonna jump. She ain't gonna fight. She's just gonna scream. This crazy. Stand to your ground, baby. She got all up in her face. See, Karen sits on this guy's car hood and harasses him, demanding to see. You sit on my car hood, you must be going for a ride. <laughs> sit on the hood of my car if you want. You going for a ride, because I'm, I'm in my car to drive somewhere. You coming with me if you're on the hood. Cops be like, sir, you can't. Uh, no, um, she wasn't supposed to be on my hood. I don't know. I ain't put her there. His license and falsely accusing him and his girlfriend of doing drugs. <laughs> Look, can you get out of my car, please? What the hell you have on you? Please? What were you coming over here to do? Drugs? Drugs? You want to check us? You want to check us? No. You want to check us? You want to check us? How you going to make an assumption like that? What are you coming over here to do? Drugs? No, I'm not the cop. Then what are you I want to see her insurance. Want to check us? I want to see a valid driver's license. 
Woman, well, I mean, you don't get to see none of that. You is not the cops. Who are you? Why are you doing this? Mind your business. They did nothing to you. But yet you want to see some insurance and a driver's license. I wish you Karen would. I wish. Because you don't got one. You want to you wanna check us? Let me see your valid driver's license. You want to you check us? Since you were driving. You want to check us? You, you, know, you know the little park right here? Look. Huh? Jerry, get in. There's one. The little park right here? What park? She's saying that we're, we're here to do drugs. The park, the park that's right here by... I'm not driving. Look, I'm not... Look you know where it was said Tea. I'm drinking some tea. You, you, yeah. see, you see me driving? You see me driving? You see me driving? I'm not driving. Yeah, you were driving. No, I wasn't. You are. No, I wasn't. Okay. Look at her. Look at her. Yo, she got some Karen. I meant some Karen. Some crazy in her blood. No. Mom, on the Vive Chino. On the Vive Chino? You know the little park? Yeah, but it's a, it's on another side. Get in, get in. Don't even. Está loca. Está loca. Está loca. Hey, Jerry, sit down. Jerry, sit down. That's, that's a Spanish mom right there. Jerry, sit down. Jerry, sit down. Karen thought she could get away with stealing from the store, but the worker snatched her bag and wouldn't let her go. Eventually, Karen gives up. Hey, the security is like, uh uh. Uh-uh, whatever you stole is coming back in this store because I'm not about to lose my job over you stealing from this store. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, just check it out. That's fine. Let's go, let's go. Okay, let's go. 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 let us go let us go she said, I don't need ish. Be, I don't need ish. And as she takes the products out of her bag and throw them back into the store. Why are you steal it if you didn't need it? You needed it for something. That's why you stole it. I don't know if you don't hit me out there. Okay. Okay. I'm right here. I'm right here. Come on, look at that. It don't matter. You have to throw that shit. With her broke self. I can work you at Walgreens. That makes me think of her purse fake. How you go? How you yelling at this woman for where she? You work at Walgreens. You works nowhere. That's why you're stealing from Walgreens, loser. You does she not realize that she's the loser here? At least she got a job where she can afford to buy something out of this Walgreens that she work at. Woman, you stealing from it. I bet your purse fake too. Mr. Karen Worker loses the customer's credit card and has the nerve to get mad when the customer confronts him. You f just told me that you're not fond of me as a customer because you lost my credit card. Are you going to stand by that statement? I didn't state that. You just That's said we are not, not fond of customers like you because I'm upset because you lost my credit card over a driving when we drove in to get my prescription. You then tell me that you're not fond of me as a customer. So After you lose my credit card, so, that's okay. So you think ain't that it's okay that uh, you're gonna say that we suck? Even yes. Though, I mean, technically, we're here for you guys. But you lost my card. That's not Human being here for error. me. Mistakes happen. Yeah, but that, that's um, that's fine. Then they turn around so, and so say it's you, my so fault. You're so yeah, but talking to us about well, it. Well, because you're talking to me. Uh, yes, uh, because I'm saying, understandably I, upset because suck? you lost my credit card. It's like, like, I mean. What do you literally want us to do? We went outside. Find Uber my it? credit card? We were we or, or give us we, some kind of... Yeah, but you're, uh, we well, they're just, saying we suck and everything we, else. So we if I was a man... about to leave, no. and you yelled over the aisle and said, we because don't like customers like you. Like that. that. Okay. Like so, that. You get upset when you lose a credit card. You don't I mean, like customers we, who get we upset. We were already 
going to cash I can my almost credit guarantee card, go through all that, that process. If I wouldn't have said nothing, you guys would have continued yeah. stating. Oh, we're definitely going to continue to state it. We're going to make sure everyone knows that this, this Walgreens is not the best place to go because you lose our credit card. You have to yell back at me and say, we are not fond of customers like you. Let yeah. me be upset. No. The audacity of a store worker to get upset with the customer because the customer is upset that you lost their credit card. All you should be doing is trying to find that card and apologize and make it right. There's no room for you to be upset at the customer and tell the customer we're not fond of customers like you. They're mad. They're upset. Rightfully so. Get it together. During this you moment, like that. let Big me difference. be upset that. in the fact that you lost something Not of mine. Like let me that. be upset Big about difference. it, but don't retaliate against me like that. I am that customer. I am that customer who's upset because you lost my card. So when we're upset, rightfully so, let us be upset. Don't tell us you're not fond of customers like that. You've ensured we'll never come back. I'll probably change my prescription to Albertsons, completely get away from Walgreens because of your statement. And I just want you to know that. And your manager, whoever that is, owner of Walgreens, wherever I have to escalate, it will be escalated. 1-800-WALGREENS. Thank you. I will definitely call them. I will. Karen gets mad at the workers who kicked her and her partner out of the casino due to her partner's gang-related tattoos. Looks like luck wasn't on their side that night. They're associated with gangs, gang tattoos. I'm recording you guys too. Okay, Miss, you, know you can't that? record us. Okay, well, I feel like he's it's recording us. Property. He's recording us. All right, Jamie, you're, you're being trespassed from property, okay? I wonder how they know that his, his tattoos are gang related. My assumption is they're probably covered in gang related tattoos themselves underneath these clothes. And it's of a rival gang. So they they want to kick him out. They're like, oh, no. We can't let the rival gang make no money in this casino. We got to kick him out. They say, let's go talk to him. We're we were here yesterday. Yeah, but he's just playing gang tattoos. And we have zero tolerance. Yeah, but, the door. yeah but you guys don't need to worry about that. We're not starting trouble or anything. So it's, it's not if you guys are starting trouble. If someone comes up and they want to start trouble because of his tattoos... Then that's their fault. That's why there's security cameras here. I know, this is about his protection as much as it is about the But we were here yesterday yeah. all day. I understand, but unfortunately, it is a zero tolerance policy. And I can actually record because he was recording him. It's, yeah. it's on the doors. You don't have you don't have the right to record us. But you you were recording us. What's that? You were recording I us. Actually, I took a picture of you because I got a. Oh, okay. On well, I I have a that's, picture of you too that's fine. and you too. Okay. Mr. Karen totally lost it at the restaurant over a refund issue. He went all crazy and started cussing at the workers. Where you your refund, sir? Yeah, I understand. My refund, he can give me the right change. What was your order? It was a double. It was a... So you were thinking the same thing, Mo? That's funny. Coke. Okay. You don't remember your order? It's a number, it's a number one, nine items and 49 cents. It was nine dollars and 60 something cents. Well, and he's going to try to give me six dollars. F*** you. Okay, you have serious problems, sir. Yeah, you have a serious problem. You don't know how to run a place. Oh, I don't? And you don't no. know how to be a human being. That's correct, I'm not. Exactly. We all Dang, he admitted it. He admitted it. This guy told the worker there, maybe the manager on staff says, you don't know how to run a place. And then she responds, you don't know how to be a decent human being. And he was like, you're right. I don't. You just lost, my guy. You believe this? You believe hey, man, I'm not involved, brother. Call the police. 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 Call the police.
love the Karen roller coaster? Not really. Yes, I do actually. Sometimes, not all the time. I didn't like this black face Karen. She was racist. Anyway, y'all, we made it to the end of this live stream. Y'all know what time it is. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, the link to the original will be down in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure you follow your boy on the ground and Twitter at Art of Kicks. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget, copy Karen's shirts. Link at the top of the